Hi folks, Dan the Wolfman here, and today's presentation is going to be on old versus new discrete carry or backup guns or easy carry as I like to call it. Some days I just don't feel like putting on all the heavy guns and all that, but I always carry two pretty much unless it's absolutely discreet. And then something like this or this come in handy. So we got the Colt Detective Special, totally old school here versus the Ruger Max 9 Pro. I have other videos on these pistols. The Ruger Max 9 Pro is a lot better micro compact than I expected. Uh, so check that out. That one's a popular one. Also, I compared that micro versus a full size nine millimeter known for its best uh striker fired trigger so look at that this has got a standalone video that's very popular but also has versus the smith and wesson model 12 battle of the six shot snubbies so it's kind of old school versus new school discreet carry or easy carry or backup gun carry typically the max 9 pro is my backup gun it is my house gun when i'm at work it's my backup gun if my offside front pocket when i'm out and about it's always been my backup gun in my offside front pocket when i'm home and sweats it's my gun around the house in my offside front pocket see a theme here uh yesterday i did actually carry this as the primary and the max 9 as a backup i carried this primary in a relentless tactical generic leather holster uh, appendix style it is very comfortable that way because i have gotten bigger uh, after knee surgery and whatnot i'm not having the time to work out and do jujitsu as much as i'd like so this is comfortable with the, the small but thick grip it's still comfortable and concealable for me uh so i carried it that way yesterday though today i'm doing the opposite carrying uh i carried to the range in a tolster uh holster if you need a holster get a tolster use code dan the wolf and get 15 percent off and uh, carried this in a Mika pocket holster in the offside front pocket. So it could kind of go either way. Of course, there's the revolver versus auto debate. Capacity is one of those things. The revolver always have a backup gun uh, be around because it doesn't go out of battery and an entangled close CQB gunfighter or if a cop or armed guard like myself is knocked down. So there is that. Uh, but anyway, guys, let's see how they compare running some different drills today. And this video will be similar to my realistic training. Are you video? You might want to check that out with slightly bigger Smith and Wessons, the slightly bigger model 12 airway, uh, lightweight K-frame uh, versus the Shield Plus. And so this will be similar to that video that should get more views. That's, are you practically training for realistic stuff, the stuff that's most likely the preponderance to happen? We've done long-range stuff uh, in my DASA full-size videos recently. We did all seven-yard stuff in my Gabe White Drills video. So today we'll do some more realistic more than likely the preponderance of attacks that happen in the two to five yard range, mostly the three to five yard range, about 86% of attacks. All right, guys, today I am going to try to do a lot of stuff. My right side, which is my primary hand, my right side from appendix with both. And then I'll try to get to uh, some as a backup gun for me is the left offside front pocket and evaluate them both as both. I'll start with the Max 9 Pro from the Toaster Holster, Code Dan the Wolfman, at two yards, draw against two bad guys, make hand, headshots one-handed. Uh, so you need to practice two, three yards, five yards predominantly. Oh, hey guys, what's going on, man? What's going on? Look off! Hopefully I was in frame there. I'd probably be backing up a little bit longer, but I have two perfect headshots there at the enclosed range. So easy, fast, one-handed headshots, two and three yards, stuff you should be doing. All right, now it's the Colt Dick Detective Special, old school. Two yards. I used my left hand for the draw, so I'm going to keep it fair. But there's also drills that you should be doing one-handed in case you're carrying something, baby, or even your hands holding your girlfriend's hand or whatever. Uh, you know, realism, you should be training that way. But I'm oh, hey, guys. What's going on? Look off! So felt about the same speed. The thick but short grips of the Colt Detective Special Help me get a fairly decent draw, and it is a bit more comfortable than Kydex because with a double action revolver, DASA auto, TDA, 
or LEM or something like that, or car pistol, I could, I'm comfortable carrying with something like a generic holster. That is a little more comfortable with sitting when you have a big belly and whatnot. The shots were a little high. A little high, but I would still say effective. Um, not that's that's not great, but this guy's a really small headed guy. All right, guys. Well, I got the range alone for about 20 months. I'm going to use the Range Tech Range Timer. Awesome stuff. Get one. Uh, concealedcarry.com. Uh, I use the links in my description box and all the videos and stuff. And anyway, hopefully I can get the times. I'm going to do like a retreat jail. You see me usually use three targets today. I'm using two just because other people will be coming. Um, and you should sometimes as well. So anyway, I'll start this time. I'll alternate with the uh, Detective Special. And uh, I'll do to the body, to the body of three yards as I'm retreating to about five yards and try and make those headshots. Really small heads. I tend to shoot revolvers high. Uh, I'm using 158 grain semi wad cutter ammo in the 38, and then in the 9 millimeter, I'm using uh, Federal 124 grain. I think it was out of frame. I got back to six yards by that last shot. And, uh, oh, I don't think my headshots are good. I think I even got a miss. I'm so bad. I wasn't ready for the go time. I only it was set at three seconds. I wasn't quite ready yet. Um, fixing it on my belt. I got a zone. We'll call it a zone. That's a lung. Still effective and a miss. I'm not happy about that. I actually missed. I threw high. Two A zone here. That's pretty damn good. And one a little way too right. Uh, nicking them. Uh, I mean, it's going to make them dizzy. Probably stop him from attacking you. Not awesome but that's the reality of it and i got that in the enclosed range they didn't know what their gunfire so i got the six shots really slow that was a bad run 2.08 to first shot i'm working from a generic leather relentless tactical holster and sometimes the revolver grip it doesn't give me the reliable draws i really like to have a good master grip uh, it was pointed to left i had to roll it in my hand i often have to roll the revolver in my hand but 2.08 the first shot a 34 split the head shot 82 5.82 over long a 31 split so 31 34 splits um so you are slower with the revolver 5.82 overall all right now at the ruger max 9 All right, let's see how I did. Pistol was canted a little left, just like the revolver was, actually. Well, and the first guy engaged on the left because he had a pistol versus the knife. Much better. On the spine and near the heart, much better. A little low on the headshot. I didn't have a good grip. Nice. Two A zone just splitting the sides with good hollow point expansion. Who knows? Splitting the sides of the spine. And a really, really crappy headshot. And I'm just not doing good at it. I'm acting realistic like I'm moving and then I'm suddenly attacked. I got multiple layers on. I got four layers on the t-shirt underneath and then three sweatshirts on right now. It's cold. Uh, 1.86, so faster to first shot. It only got four out of the six shots, but total time 5.51. With the uh, detective, it was 5.82. So faster the first shot. At least one of those splits we recorded at 26. All right, guys, Bill drove five yards. Why? Because we're keeping things practical, realistic, the preponderance of defensive gun use. If you want to look at my seven yards, look at my Gabe White drills, nine versus 44, 45, a fair caliber battle. Um, and I'm not used to working from this holster and the three layers on top. I got to get a hold of all of them. And the timer's actually kind of in the way. So it's making things a little difficult. Whoa. First jam ever. Interesting. First jam I've ever had in this pistol. Hmm. It's recently been cleaned too. That sucks because that was a two-handed hold and first jam I've ever had. Um, that doesn't make me feel good right now. 
right, guys, that was my first jam ever in this pistol. I obviously know I could have cleared it quickly. I wanted to identify what it was. It was a failure to feed. Previous round ejected. I'm using Federal 124 grain. I had a two-handed hold. It's very odd. It's, oh, I don't like that because this is the gun I carry back up every single day. And But maybe that's the revolver, guys. Now we're going, whoa, revolver. You just would have pulled the trigger again if you had a bad round, a bad primer or something. It would have rotated again and probably been. Now, when revolvers go down, though, they go down hard. You can't fix it. I could have fixed that quickly just by racking the slide. Uh, anyway, let's try the build drill again. I am now worried about this magazine. I think the magazine spring might be weak. It's caught on the feed ramp. It's not angled up. The front of the bullet is hitting the feed ramp. This is farther than last time Lisa started to go forward out of the magazine. Let me give it a smack on the magazine, see if it loads. I don't know what to say because I know I cleaned this uh, completely clean and maybe I didn't put enough lube, enough oil, two weeks ago. All right, so before I take anything else, it might actually be the ammunition. We got five Federal 124 on the left. Then we got three uh, Zinc Point 124 grain with a shorter overall length and 124 plus P Federal HSTs with a shorter overall length. Before I check anything else, assume it's the magazine or that maybe the gun's under lubed even though I lubed and cleaned it two weeks ago and haven't fired it since. This could be an overall length from the five on the left or the 124. And then you see the overall length there is less. I'm going to try this other zinc point 124 grain and see if I get any jams before I do anything else. If it, turn, it runs okay with that ammo, I'm going to say that maybe this Federal ammo, which I've fired one box in other pistols, it was okay, but maybe the overall length on this particular box out of this particular lot. All right, I looked at the ammo. I got a theory. The Federal 124 grain, I've never shot in this pistol before, and I've only shot one box in other pistols. The overall length is longer than the 124 zinc point ammo I have on me and longer than the 124 HSTs, which is kind of understandable. But anyway, the overall length might be to play. I'm going to try a build drill. The first uh, seven rounds here are zinc point. So I'm going to do a build drill six rounds if we get through that. Then I'm going to try to unload the other magazine or do another build drill and see if it's okay going from the zinc point to the federal or not before I start magazine slash uh, oil cleaning uh, needed to see if that's the issue. All right, let's try and run. Bill drill again from five yards. And I got through it okay. Horrible draw. Other things going on. Looks like I made decent hits. Let's check our times. Uh, I keep playing with the sensitivity, and obviously I didn't get it. Um, so didn't really get that run. Let's see how the hits are Awesome good upper thrust that hits five out of the six covered by a fist in the a zone box here That would also be an a zone on a USPSA or IDPA style target FYI So all six a zone really uh, There now I'm gonna try to run again and it'll be a zinc point followed by federal and let's so it was a 12 plus one topped off Let's see if I jam on that second or third round all right, let's run it again. So I got through four. The first run was the zinc point and then the federal. And then I jammed on a federal again. I think this is an overall length and ammo issue. Not anything wrong with my pistol. That's what I want to believe. Uh, so we'll find out. But maybe the, the revolver guy is going to go, hey, ammo issues typically, like even the overall length, is going to be an issue. And even if you had a dead primer or inverted primer or something, you pull the trigger again on the revolver. Revolver guys are looking pretty good right now. Just to reiterate, guys, 
the Max 9 is a pretty small micro. It's smaller than the Shield Plus. The Colt Detective Special, though it's a six shot, is barely bigger than a J frame. And it's smaller than a lot of other stuff. And it's very similar. It uses the same holsters as a Taurus 856, which are readily available and budget friendly. So, uh, and you know, you can look and find good deals occasionally. <laughs> Colt Detective, Cobra, uh, etc. I'm always looking, but prices are kind of crazy. But keep your eyes out and you'll get lucky. All right, let's go with the. Uh, Detective Special now, and we'll keep we'll keep evaluating. I think it's an ammo issue with the Max Nine. I hope we'll find out. <laughs> ah! I don't have a problem with carrying a revolver, but I say you got to carry two. You. If you're going to carry a revolver, you should carry a backup gun. New York Reload, Jim Cerullo style. You would move, though. You teach yourself to fire all six, two, 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 if you need to, or whatever you got to do, and then bug out two seconds to get the backup gun, typically, uh, to on target again. So as far as speed, ridiculously slow. As far as accuracy, amazing. Five in the very small A-box. Six there, which would still be in A-box on a USPSA or an IDPA 8-inch pie. So, very good accuracy, but slow splits. We're talking 40 to 46, 147 uh, split. And I'm always slower to the first shot with with any kind of snub. Now, if I'm carrying 3 o'clock with a big, a full-size revolver, that's a different story. But from a snub appendix, I'm pretty slow because I often have to rotate the grip and throw it in my hand. I'm usually, like, aiming over here, and I don't got a master grip. But as far as accuracy, every time I do one of these kinds, look at my uh, realistic training video, you find that you are slower, but you tend to, like, make those shot counts as you're rolling through the trigger. You tend to, you know, reevaluate the sights, get that front sight on center mass. All right, so far our presentation has been dominant hand from appendix with both of them. Now I'm gonna go offside as a backup gun and look at my ass rebuttal video, nine reasons to carry a backup gun. Very important video. I think it make a lot of great points. You might wanna check that out if you're a guy that takes things seriously. Like a typical thing. You're in a parking lot, you're walking in, you got your head up and butt, you're probably on your phone like an asshole with, instead of your situational awareness. Or even if you are, boom, guys come out from behind a bush or a car or the corner, around your corners, check your six, all that stuff. But anyway, let's go here like Okay, okay, guys, I'll give you a while. I'll give you a while. No problem, man. No problem. <laughs> Try to beat their OODA loop because they are expecting not uh, compliance. They're expecting compliance, and I didn't get any times. That's too bad, but perfect T Box headshot just below the eye. We'll call it pretty darn good. You know what, I'm gonna run that again, hopefully to get a time. And uh, if not, you replay and you figure it out from the time I started to go. Oh, hey, okay, what do you guys want? Yeah, okay, okay, I'll give you a while, I'll give you a while, no problem, no problem. <laughs> 1 1.17. Ah, 1 1.17, a first shot. And slow, slow head transition split. 1.17 and 1.88. Actually beat the second guy, probably, especially because he's the one with the knife, he's the one with the gun. Before he could close, he might have started to change. But usually he's looking and seeing his homeboy's face explode. And, uh, you know, then you're doing good work when he's starting to run. But 1.17... Definitely beats the OODA loop, typical one and a half second reaction time. Great reason for pocket carry or carrying a backup gun in your pocket. Look at my nine reasons carry a backup gun. So I'm glad we did it again, 1.17, 1.18. Let's run it a third time. Let's keep going. I'm going to go. I'm just going to go. Let's keep it a cherry time. Whoa, hey, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who do you want? Who do you want? I'll give it a what? No problem, man. No problem. I'll give it a what? No problem. Okay, so can a revolver do that? Can an auto do that? Yeah, definitely. Let's check our times. 
1.01, even faster. And I'm usually faster with an auto. 1.01. And it looks like 1.32. I don't know if my transition was 31. That's pretty fast, especially with the revolver. Or if it was 204. Um, so I'm not sure how long that transition was. It was really fast for me. 132 to get both of them out of there before either could react. Or if it was 204, that guy probably looks and runs or he looks and he's starting the charge. And, you know, maybe you back away and shoot in the face and avoid that stab kind of thing where you got to defend with the other arm. Okay, look at my commander. Shoot Jiu Jitsu instructional on BJJ Fanatics. Get it. All right, now let's do it with the Max 9. If I get any uh, gems, you would expect it left handed, weak hand only. Uh, right? If I don't, that means it was probably the overall length issue. Didn't like the Federal. This has got the Zinc Point 124, 12 plus 1 topped off to test for carry purposes. Again, to get my faith back, if it does get any jams, then, uh, you know, something else might be going on. The revolver was carried in Mika Pocket Holster. A full video on Mika Pocket Holsters. This is carried in a DeSantis, but does that have a trigger dingus for more experienced people? I think that's okay. And this is how I usually roll, whether at work or not, as the backup gun. All right, let's run it now. Oh, okay, guys, what do you want? I'll, I'll give it a walk. I'll give it a walk. No problem. I'll give it a walk. I had like trigger freeze, which has also never happened to me before. That was very weird. All right, let's run it again. Please excuse gunfire. You hear in the background. Hey, hey guys, what do you want? I'll give it a walk. I'll give it a walk. No problem. All right, that was much better run. Hopefully we got time to get up. I think it's a 0.92 overall, which is pretty good. 1.11 to first shot, 1.11. Uh, in the past, I've been a little bit faster. That's very similar to two of the times we got with the snub. It kind of splits the difference. And 1.92 to the second guy. So he's starting to react and he take care of the second guy. 0.11, two fast reactions are the most immediate, closest, or most immediate threat. He had the pistol, and he's close, so there you go. 1.11 to the first, 1.92 to the second. Uh, headshots look good. Headshot good. The black is with the Colt Detective. Headshot good there with the Max 9. Headshots good there. Down range, only one here, and closed range. Fiber optic, night sight combination, tritium and fiber optic, which is really nice. It points really well. It gives me a good enough grip. Very good while shooting one-handed, which is one reason I really well, I rely on this every day. All right, Ruger Max 9, here we go. Hey, guys, I'll give you what you want. I'll give you what you want, no problem. I'll give you my what. Possibly a hard primer from the zig point. It's happened before. It looks like I'm having problems with the gun, but I really don't think so if you look at all my other videos. <laughs> Just having ammo issues. I think the Federal's overall length, and this might be too hard primer for this pistol, though I think I've shot it before. This is kind of the end of the zig point. I had really bad jams in uh, another pistol I borrowed uh, with it, and one time couldn't even clear it. It was really messed up. So that's a hard primer. Uh, weird to clear left-handed. Haven't really had to do that too many times. <laughs> Let's run again. This makes autos look bad. It makes the Ruger look, look bad. I really do what you want. No problem, no problem. All right. Finally a halfway decent run. They recorded 0.61. While that is... Possibly feasible. I don't know if I really was that fast because usually 0.98 is the fastest I got. So that would be like a turbo run for me to the first headshot. And I think the headshots were good. The headshots were good earlier. That's in the nose. That's uh, right under the eye by the nose. So good headshots there. So honestly, either one uh, for like weaker people, the revolver as an offside backup 
would be more reliable to not get limp wristing issues. That was a hard primer. That was an ammo issue, not the pistol. I'm like 99.8% sure. So, because I've had the issue with that ammo before is why I'm switching out now that more ammo is available to uh, the Federal, but that was overall length too long. Um, so let's try one more thing before it gets way too dark. Offside, but probably a two-handed hold, four yards to six yards or so backing up to attacker, drill. All right, I need to practice that a little more. Didn't feel like I was doing that well in recoil control. Let's see how the hits were. Let's call this two good, one not good, because one hit the heart near the spine. Again, hollow point expansion. The bigger the bullet, the better, because it might nick vitally important structures, arteries, hearts, aortas, etc. One in the lung there, and one just a little bit too low. Same thing over here. Let's call these two good and one there. All three would be A's in a USPSA, and probably in a, just barely in on a IDPA, but let's call it two good and one so-so. Let's do it with the snub. I am starting with my hand on the pocket. Like I kind of realize something's up. Uh... All right, a little slower. Let's see if I got any better hits though. It looks like that was 4.72 seconds, 1.56 first shot, 37 split, 37 plus split, very slow, 1.27 transition, 57.58. Um, so I got to learn to ride revolvers a bit faster and more regularly if that's what I was going to carry. All right, as I said earlier, I tend to like look over sights. Like I tend to look over an orange night sight and kind of point shoot, slide focus, and look target focus on the bad guy which leads me to shoot high especially with the revolvers so as i said that earlier one two three there is that better than some of the low ones just under the lungs better than the low one under the lung but in the one in the lung and there on the top of the heart i don't know probably one of these three got lucky that one hit the lung that one is maybe a lucky blood spurter also high one up there in the lung that would be a good upper thoracic hit one here also maybe nicking that there and one there which maybe or maybe doesn't shut down if it was a 158 probably has the momentum the mass of the boy to go deeper all the way through to the back probably maybe of the spine so i don't know um what do you guys think i think we're gonna wrap it up there it's getting dark it's cold and i'm starting to perform badly um snubby first micro nine What's better than that? A subcompact. Uh, recently you saw I switched to a subcompact 40. And if you watched the Gay Boy video, it should have already aired. And just to, with the 40, you see I did really, really well with it. With a subcompact 9 or a compact-ish 9, as you've seen in other videos, practical carry and whatnot, I do very good. I prefer a 40 or 45. But if it's lazy carry, backup carry, what do you like better, the snub or the auto and we didn't take in consideration capacity but we also had some failures with the auto that has never ever happened before and i think i can attribute that to um, this was the end of some zinc point ammo it ran good i'll probably fire some federal off camera to see if i get any more jams with the federal actually because that would really confirm for me uh six for sure five or six for sure i say why carry a five shot snub when you can carry a six cold detective agents cobras are out there and probably better serve you than anything. Uh, there's also the Taurus 856. And if you get a good one, you're good to go. Um, and uh, other bigger revolvers, the RP63, I'd like to get. That's something to consider. A 357 Magnum, a 3 inch 357 Magnum has a lot more ballistic ability than a Snubby 38 does. So there's that as well. But as far as backup micro guns, because we're talking small stuff, easy carry, does the Micro 9. And the capacity, does that better? Is it better in case it isn't a tangled gunfight to have a snub? Uh, maybe especially if you're elderly and, like, you can't fight that well and gangbangers stomp you and try to kill you when you're on the ground? Like, it depends. And I think the snubby as the actual backup gun for law enforcement might 
still always have a purpose. Does it have a purpose over the Micro 9? I don't know. I carried the snubby appendix and the Micro 9 in the pocket. The price should be the other way around, or do you want the 6 for sure first? And then you learn to move when you get a click instead of a bang. It tells you, reminds you to move your ass offline, find cover, at least run, move back, get some distance where good guys shoot better than bad guys typically, and then draw your backup. Or should it be the primary, the auto pistol, and a snubby as a backup? Let me know what you guys think down below. I think this skewed it a little more towards the snub than common thought, but uh, maybe old timers knew what they were talking about after all. I don't know. Uh, I like them both. I've been carrying the Micro 9 as the backup gun. I think I will continue to do so, mostly because I'm a little faster from the pocket draw to the headshot like drill we did. I'm usually a little faster. And um, the width of the cylinder, you know. So anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Please thumbs up, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Thanks, everybody. Um, oh, by the way, uh, we did a lot more runs with the pistol. Beige is pistol. Black is revolver. Those last runs were with the revolver. The empty ones are the revolver. Black is revolver. Beige is pistol. So pretty... Uh, pretty similar except the one bad miss with the revolver.